Hey guys, it is Friday night. It's going to be clear, so we're going to do some astrophotography and set up the Takahashi 106mm and their EM200 mount. Beautiful sunset right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get the gear set up now. Relax for a bit until it gets dark. Goal for tonight, shoot a little bit of lunar work with a color camera, the ZWO294. Let's go ahead and get the gear set up. All right, next up, we're gonna balance the mount first in declination, so we're gonna lock right ascension. The goal of balancing is to make sure that when the axis is unlocked, you don't have any movement. In this example, the declination is back heavy, so I need to loosen the dovetail and slide the optical tube forward. Okay, with this axis still locked, it's free and this one's balanced. So we're gonna lock declination, move on to right ascension. So loosen right ascension. I can see that it's counterweight side heavy, which means I need to take the counterweight and move it forward. All right, just like that, the system's balanced and we're ready to wait for dark to polar align. All right, so first step to polar alignment with the Takahashi is there's a scale here and there's a white line and you have to use this scale to offset your longitude. So I'm at 80 degrees in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So according to the manual, that means I need to offset the scale. So I put the negative five line up on the white line. And from there, I need to level the right ascension just by moving it. So I want to center that bubble by only rotating the right ascension. And I'm pretty well centered now. So it's level. And now I'm going to look through the finder and take my standard time, which we are in daylight savings. And it is almost 10 o'clock. So standard time you subtract one hour. So that means it is nine o'clock standard time. So I'm gonna look through the finder and align Polaris on the date and the time, and then we will get to imaging. Okay, so we got Polaris centered inside the finder and at the right time and date, and now I think we're ready to get imaging. All right, well, our polar alignment is done, and the first few images I want to take are of the moon. So we're going to slew over to the moon that's hiding behind the trees. Okay, so we're on the moon right now. This is awesome, it looks beautiful. I opened the software Fire Capture and that's gonna let us capture video of the moon and with this camera, it is a one-shot color. So we'll be able to edit that and bring out some of the detail and colors that are actually on the moon that are so hard to see with our human eye. So all I'm gonna do right now is just gently focus and make sure the moon is nice and crisp. And that looks like we're in good focus. So we'll zoom back out. All right, so we're going to adjust the exposure to make sure that the moon is properly exposed and the highlights are not clipped. Okay, so I cropped in on the moon to reduce the file size and that's gonna allow the frame rate to be higher as well, which means a cleaner image in less amount of time. I think I'm going to shoot between two and 4,000 frames, and that's going to make an awesome amount of data to stack. Mm -hmm. 